Modest Lifestyle, welcome back to the channel. If you're coming across this channel for the first time, my name is Modesta. I am a Nigerian currently based in Doha. And if you haven't joined this beautiful family, what are you waiting for? Hit on the red button that says subscribe. Do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that anytime we drop a new video, you will be notified. And to my returning subscribers, the Modest Nation, I see you all. Thank you for your support. The reaction video. Yes, guys, I came across one video from a channel by name Nook and Yefa. She's actually a Nigerian based in Italy. So YouTube recommended this video to me and I went to watch and this lady was passing a message to Nigerians in Italy. I'm going to play a clip so that you can hear from the horse's mouth. But let me just give you an idea what she was talking about. According to her, she said that the Nigerians in Italy will take a loan to buy a house and once they buy that house they will not maintain the house they will abandon the house and run either to UK, US or even go back to Nigeria if you own a house you will get another loan that you can use for the maintenance of the house but so what the Nigerians do is Instead of them to maintain the house that they have bought, they will abandon the house like that, spoil everything, either run to UK and, you know, rubbish the, the country and say that the country is not good. The landlords in Italy have discussed and they have had a meeting that will not be renting out their houses to Nigerians. This is what this lady was lamenting on this video, that now, if she wants to change her accommodation, that it will be very hard for her to get a new flat because she's a Nigerian. Italians have taken note of what the Nigerians are doing. So listen to her and I will come and give my two pieces. Why I'm making this video is because when I went to the comment section, what I saw there is what I am going to discuss. So let's hear from her. How all Italian landlords had meeting over Nigerians saying that no landlord should ever rent house to Nigerians again except, except if the person is willing to buy a house. Now you tell me how many Nigerians are willing to buy a house in this country except for those who wanted to buy a house just because they wanted the money that, would, that they would get from the bank. And this is where I'm coming from, okay? So, so many Nigerians borrowed money from the bank all in the name of buying a house. They knew very well that that house, they are not going to stay in that house. But just because a bank gives certain amount of money to those that buy a house in this country, so many Nigerians went into this business of buying a house. Mm? Because nobody, none of them ever have the good intention of buying a house. They only went to buy that house because of the money they are going to be getting from there. So, so many Nigerians borrowed money from bank. And after they borrowed that money, they managed to pay for house rent for maybe one year, two years. The highest amount of people that pay for house here is three or four years. And if you see good person, maybe the person paid five years, okay? And after that, they'll just go and sack themselves from work and collect all their liquidation and run to Nigeria or run to another place. When you buy a house here, there is a certain amount of money they give to anybody that buys house. And that money is for you to maintain that house you are going to be moving in. Especially if you are buying old house, there are this certain amount of money they are going to give you for you to repair your house, but Nigerians will never do that. They will gather that money, they will send it to Nigeria and go and start building a house in Nigeria. Whereas the house they buy here, everything inside is getting spoiled. Can you imagine? Can you imagine spoiling another person's property? Instead of you to do the right thing, you send the money to your own country and start building a house. While another person's property is spoiling, and you think it is going to be well with you, if you want to spoil another person, take your own. Now, so your own will is spoil. Now, so your own will is spoil, my people. So you people should stop all these evil acts. And the thing that is happening here to us now, we, the good Nigerians, 
experience and one suffering every day all the atrocities that you all committed in these countries. Because they now see Nigerians as people that doesn't pay debt, people that go about borrowing money and doesn't pay. So you've heard what the lady is saying, that the people suffering this now are the good Nigerians. She said that Italians are known for generalizing things like they will not say some Nigerians, they will say all Nigerians. I went to the comment section. The same thing that this lady was trying to say is what I saw in the comment section. And it came from a lot of Ghanaians. I'm going to read some comments. This person says, thank you for exposing the truth. I am an African too. And frankly, I'm very mindful of Nigerians. Most have very bad example. Thank you for being a good example. God bless you and your family. Most Nigerians. This is what this person is saying. Everybody keeps saying most Nigerians. This person also said, thank you for addressing this that most Nigerians are doing, especially in other countries. And this person said, my dear, I am ashamed to be a Nigerian. There are a bad reputation about Nigerians all over the world. What I want to say here is, it depends on the country. I've lived in South Africa. I've lived in Saudi Arabia and I am currently in Doha. Nigerians here have very good reputation. I didn't find it funny when I saw a lot of comments saying most Nigerians, especially our neighbors, Ghanaians, they were saying that Nigerians thought that the Ghanaians hate them, but no, it's the whole world that hate them. I think uh, some of the comments have been deleted or something. It's not most Nigerians that are bad. What I want to correct here is some Nigerians are bad and it applies to every country. There is no country that doesn't have bad people. There are bad people everywhere. The good, the bad and the ugly. So it depends on what you want to be. Anybody can be bad, anybody can be good. I'm not here to defend any bad behavior from anybody. No, that is not why I am making this video. I'm making this video because I know that there are good Nigerians, even in Italy, everywhere, Europe, UK, US. For example, where I am now, if you are looking for an apartment, the moment you mention that you are a Nigerian, the landlord or the management of the property will be very happy and willing to convince you to take the apartment. Because the impression they have is that Nigerians are well behaved and they will maintain the flat. So it depends on the country. Don't generalize things. Don't condemn every Nigerian or don't think that, oh, I am afraid of Nigerians. Even before you relate with them. You are already, because people say Nigerians are bad, Nigerians are bad. There are bad people everywhere. You cannot convince me that every country have good abiding citizens. It's only Nigerians that are doing bad things. Nobody can convince me about that. I really understood what this lady was trying to say, especially for the fact that they manipulated the system to favor them. And then it's affecting other people that want to live in Italy and work. It's really not a good example. But there are other people as well that will never do such. So I don't find it funny when I hear most Nigerians. No, it's not most Nigerians. Some Nigerians. And our population in Nigeria is a very huge one. I don't know the numbers right now, but our population is really huge. You cannot condemn the whole country just because you have been in contact with a very few people. Just because you have related with one or two persons from Nigeria. Our system is so bad and corrupt that people got no choice but to travel out of country, even when they don't have any plans on what to be doing there. So what do they do? They travel out and they, then they, they are stranded and they don't know what else to do. They start manipulating the system. Here, Nigerians are well behaved. 
if you give a Nigerian your apartment, be rest assured that he will pay you. If he cannot afford to pay you, he will move out. In fact, if he cannot afford to stay in the country, maybe he lost his job or something, he will leave. He will not be hanging around, you know, doing all sorts of stuff. No. And I'm very sure it applies the same in the UK and US. Nigerians are hardworking. So let us not always dwell on the negative side. Nigerians are industrious. Nigerians are friendly. Nigerians are welcoming. They make something from nothing. They are accommodating. They are peaceful. They are loving people. I can understand what she was trying to say. But at the same time, I don't believe that most Nigerians in Italy are bad. No. I believe that there are few people that are doing this, spoiling the name of Nigeria. And I'm happy that this lady spoke up, you know, to condemn this, to create awareness what is going on. Because I cannot imagine looking for a new accommodation and the landlord telling me, no, I'm not, give, I'm not going to give you my apartment because you are in Nigeria. You pay for a while and you stop paying. It's very bad. And the record is there that in this case, once the bank noticed that, okay, this is what these particular people are doing, what do they do? If you want to buy a house, even if you are genuine, they would decline it. You will not get the loan. Maybe you are genuinely looking for a house to buy. But because of the bad words that have spoiled the system, they will reject the request you are making. There are bad and good people everywhere. It's not only in Nigeria. And our population and our government play a huge role with regards to the behavior of some Nigerians abroad. Some Nigerians abroad got no choice. They are stranded. They don't know what else. They were deceived. Somebody must have deceived them to come over to the country without giving the person proper plan on what to be doing. Not every Nigerian will do these things that people are saying, oh, Nigerians have bad reputation all over the world. There are Nigerians also that have done extraordinary things and they should be commended for that. So when you want to say stuff like this, don't say most Nigerians. No, it's not most Nigerians. It's some Nigerians. So that's the correction I wanted to make because at some point I was in the comment section, I became very upset from what all the stuff that people were saying, like generalizing everything. If you are law abiding, and you know you are not into dubious behaviors. You will not be happy to be tagged in such that all Nigerians or most Nigerians are bad. Most Nigerians are stealing. Most Nigerians are not paying house rent. Not all. There are still a lot of good Nigerians out there. All right, guys, if you watch till this moment, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.